Fury by name, Furious by nature. All right, but okay-ish by Sam, I guess. <laughs> so basically, the Fury EZA tank has been available for the North American server since this morning. And you can buy this tank for around 30 bucks, I think. Yep, 30 bucks. And instead of the original bundle, you get 2,600 gold instead of the gun rammer, vents, and vertical stabilizer. You do get 100% crew, which kind of looks like the crew from the movie. So it kind of looks like the actors from the movie, I guess. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. They don't do the same voice acting. That would be pretty fun. I'm asking way too much, but nitpicking, nitpicking, nitpicking. So 30 bucks for a Fury tank. Nah, it's the gold is worth about 15 bucks or so. The tank is worth about 15 bucks or so. So all right, I guess. Meh. But this video is not about the Fury tank, mostly. It is about having your Fury and eating it too, which doesn't make sense, but I'm gonna explain it, obviously. <laughs> so if you already have an EZ-8, here's what you can do with it. So sweet transition into my gameplay. And here is my Sherman EZ-8 Fury. Now, the more observant of you obviously will notice that this is a normal EZ-8. <laughs> so yeah, I'm being cheap. Fuck okay, it, I'm not paying 30 bucks for this model. <laughs> I'm not paying 30 bucks. Nope. Mm -mm. I can have the less crew experience uh, percentage as well as less money making percentage, but you're basically buying cosmetics, obviously. Obviously. But here's the model of the Sherman EZ Fury. As you can see, there is the gas mask. Uh, people are complaining that this is actually a trophy instead of a crew equipment. So, all right, but. Why would you have a gas mask as a trophy? That's not intimidating. That's really not that intimidating. If you're gonna strap like a 75mm gun from the Stug or something, or the Panzer IV, that would probably be more intimidating. Like cut this gun off this tank. Like cut it off with a torch or something like that. And strap it to the front of your EZ-8. That would be freaking intimidating. That would be nuts. <laughs> but alright. So, a uh, gas mask is a trophy, I guess. Whatever. You have an extra road wheel, some spare tracks, uh, hull mounted machine gun for the radio man. All right. The logs are kind of weird, in my opinion. They are sharpened and they are short, so it is mostly like they took some fence post, strapped it to the side of this tank in order to act like space armor instead of using it to unstuck the tank from the ditch, like Russian logs. So, all right. The back we have extra boxes that might contain combat rations and stuff like that. All right, some tow cables, a fuel tank, more logs. That's kind of small and pointy, like fence post. But all right, inscription of the tank model, and some canvas on the turret. I don't even know what the hell this is. It might be canvas, or it might be. I don't even know what that is. But the marking on the star is covering it for some reason. Alright. You also get helmets of the crew on the back. I think, because there's four of them. You should have five of them. Alright. But they're most likely for the crew. You get 30 caliber machine gun on top and a 50 caliber on top for the crew or anybody riding in the back. And the Fury logo onto the barrel of the gun. So this is pretty much the Fury EZ-8. Now let's play a game with it to see how this tank looks in game. But it's mostly the same as the normal EZ-8. Now I'll talk about how you in uh, how can you install this mod, as well as the difference between the normal EZ-8 and this tank, based on the actual stats of the tank now. All right, tier seven game. Oh, but yeah, I saw some people were playing with Fury tanks this morning, but nah, it's not that often. I mean, it's a, it's a normal EZ-8 mostly. Normal EZ is not that different. Not that different. But in game, it looks pretty. Ooh, I should wonder how the camouflage system is gonna work. Ooh, that's, a, that's another thing I have to wonder about. All right, I'll demonstrate after the end of the video. I'm curious too. But yeah. Ooh, upgraded turret on the Sherman Jumbo. The default turret has more armor though, buddy. All right, your loss. I played, them with, I played that thing with a derp gun. I used to. All right. Enough talking, more shooting. But the EZA is not a bad tank. 
it's comparable to the Cromwell at tier 6 for the British. It is somewhat fast, but not as fast as the Cromwell. It has very good gun depression like a Comet. So it's not a bad medium tank. The gun is okay. The same kind of gun like the Cromwell. It's alright. View range is kind of bad if you don't have a good crew with the upgraded turret. And the gun is not that hard hitting. It only does about 100 damage per shot, but it's a rapid firing gun. So you have to machine gun them to death. Also, the only good parts of this tank is the turret armor, but that's whole, uh, totally different, a uh, wholeheartedly different than the Fury tank. I'll explain it later with the armor viewer or tank inspector. But yeah, the turret armor on this tank, the normal EZA is better than the Fury armor. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I missed. Tiger is pulling up. It's a big gun. Oh, Fury movie! Fury movie. All right, here's to the Fury movie. A Sherman Easy Eight fire. Ah, go away! I am a Fury. You are a tiger. I'm scared of you. Go away. Tiger is is he is he bold? Is he bold to charge me? That's what I'm wondering. There's also a Porsche Tiger behind him. And I don't want to be a Porsche Tiger food. Oh god, Jesus. SU 100, you are brave, son. Use a brave. Okay, they're pretty for a freaking big amount of damage. Let's see, driver viewpoints. There you go. Stay still, I'm trying to shoot you. Into his engine block. Of a KV-2, all right. So it's Americans and Russians versus the German tank. Oh, this is reminiscent of the movie. Where's the Porsche Tiger? I'm I'm pretty annoyed with that thing. I don't know about that thing. Shoot him in that fucking turret. Damn. Okay, try to shoot him in the core. Ah, 95 damage. Really? Oh. Fury movie is furious. There's a Porsche Tiger. And I don't want to get hit by any of those things. Oh, you. Okay. Get one more shot into him before he pulls back out. Because he reloads every 5.6 seconds. I reload every 3 seconds. He has a DPM advantage over me. Alright, alright, alright. We're still playing with this Tiger tank. Reminiscent of the movie. Ah, coincidental. Always coincidental. So, oh, are you coming for me? Please don't. Damn it, Coppola. Ah, uh, blow away his spotter. Come on, gun. Oh, I don't want to get shot. I do not want to get shot. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, um, Hold down as much as I possibly can without him shooting at me in the front. Okay, don't. Oh gosh, he has so much hit points on a tiger. Okay, I'm trying to. Damn it, you donked the shot! Okay, I'm against uh, a tomato tiger one, but it's still a tiger. You still have to respect it. <laughs> you still have to respect the goddamn tank. Okay, come on. Come on. I'm trying to whittle him down. Yeah, he's, he's furious now. Puns intended! Oh, oh, okay, he's dead. Okay, I took two shots. I delivered like 11 shots. <laughs> Sherman Jumbo left. Oh god. Ow, it still hurts. Still hurts. 200 millimeter penetration on that 88 millimeter long cannon. Still bloody hurts. Alright, Sherman Jumbo, he has a derp. No, he doesn't. Ah, damn, it lags for a second. Oh well, the model looks pretty nice. 
it looks very nice, but it's still a Sherman Easy A mostly. Now you do have two more degrees than the normal Easy A, but it's still the same uh, M1 A2 76 millimeter gun. And all right, so let's compare the stats of the Fury tank to the actual Easy A, as well as how you're gonna install this mod if you want the model to be changed on the Easy A to the Fury tank. So cut away again. And here is the link to the Sherman Easy 8 Fury Tank model change for your normal Easy 8. Now it will, co it will cost you. It will be about 33 megabytes, so it's not that big. But once you downloaded it, there is the file. You will extract it, and once you extracted it, it will be a vehicles folder. So copy this folder into your res mod 0.9.3 and paste it here. So paste it into your res mod, and there shouldn't be any other vehicles folder unless you use you uh, unless you're using other um, skin mods for your tanks but normally you shouldn't have any vehicles folder but if you want to delete the fury model for your easy eight just delete this and you'll be set and here's the comparison between the normal sherman easy eight and the fury tank so basically the fury tank is more historically accurate to the normal sherman easy eight than the original model or the original tank because the Sherman Easy 8 was made a long time ago, back when World of Tanks was first introduced. And back then, Wargaming didn't really care about historical accuracy, but more about traits for each nation of a tank. So basically, Americans are supposed to have very good turret armor, and like jacks of all traits, but masters of none type of gameplay. Whereas the Germans have very good accuracy on their guns, kind of slow in mobility, and Russians have derpy guns and slope armor and are kind of fast. So that's how the traits are working out. But as the years of development goes, there was introduction of the British, then the Japanese, then the French, you know, and the Chinese and whatnot. But some tanks doesn't have the traits anymore because there are some British tank have very good accuracy on their guns. But that's even better than Germans, whereas there are some Japanese tanks or Chinese tanks that are actually faster than the Russians. So yeah, the lines of traits have been blurred and Wargaming want to switch back to the historical accuracy part of the game. So that's why the Fury model is more historically accurate. Now what I mean by historically accurate is that the turret armor on the original EZ-8 doesn't have the armor underneath the mantlet. So if you look at the normal EZ-8, as you can see, it has 76 millimeters of turret armor underneath the mantlet, giving the tank a very good mantlet protection against shells if you're going hull down. Whereas on the Fury tank, it's basically a hole behind the Fury uh, behind the mantlet. So behind the Fury turret, there's no armor be beneath. So basically, it's just open rectangular area. It can easily penetrate the mantlet of this thing, or yeah, and damage the tank. So that's the major difference between the Sherman EZ-8 and the Fury tank. There's also a few other differences, such as the lower plate or the middle plate, whatever you call this part, but it is less well armored on the Fury tank than the Sherman tank or Sherman EZ-8 because old model, I guess. All right. And also the protection around the turret ring is better on the Fury. So there's a space armor strip for the turret ring on both of these tanks, but the Fury, the, ah, the Fury, the Fury, the Fury gets a better space armor on the turret ring. So that's pretty much it. But yeah, comparison wise, it's pretty much the same. Other than gun depression is better on the normal EZ-8, but the turret traverse uh, gun accuracy is better on the Fury, as well as um, full speed moving. All right. Other stuff is the radio is better on the normal EZ-8. And other stuff are generally pretty much the same. Other than credit making potential, both of them get the same matchmaking, so you do not get special matchmaking for the Fury tank. Income is better on the Easy or the Fury tank, other than the Easy 8. Repair is also cheaper. And power to weight ratio is better on the normal Easy 8 because of better horsepower on the engine by 20. But it's alright. It also weighs less. In comparison between the Fury and as well as the EZ-8, so all right, because of logs and other crap, I guess. Traverse speed is actually better on the Fury, as well as terrain resistance, but it's slower 
at top speed than the normal EZ8. But that's pretty much pretty much it. Pretty much it. Same amount of hit points. Hall armor has a more hit points than turret armor. All right. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. The comparison between the Fury tank and the Sherman EZ8. Pretty much. So yeah, Fury by name, Furious by nature, cheap by Sam, I guess. <laughs> Don't have to pay 30 bucks for the model, obviously. Obviously. I keep saying the word obviously. I need another conjunction word. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Or adjective, whatever the witch. But, yeah, it's a pretty model. It's not really worth 30 bucks, in my opinion. It's a, it's a nice model. I, I'll pay like 10 bucks for it. Fine. But 30 bucks is kind of too much. Kind of too much. You're asking a lot of me over here now pretty much but eh, you can have it have your fury and eat it too so that's how I do it but hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching subscribe to my channel for more of these special editing videos as well as my leaked videos for water tanks as well as my tank reviews and other crap you know all stuff pertaining to water tanks as well as my other stuff but you'll see what other stuff mean I guess hopefully soon <laughs> but all right but I'm still dealing with YouTube and their shenanigans because they're assholes and it takes like freaking week to answer to my tickets or it's not even a ticket or my support. Fucking ass. Ass hats. Alright, so video production will be kind of slow, I guess, but I'll still try to produce videos based on leak infos as well as YouTube doesn't fuck it up in some case or some manner but all right hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching uh rate comment subscribe they always help me out always help the channel grow but other than that thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace to die.